Halifax is pretty damn expensive, more now than it was ever before. But that's exactly why I decided to make this video, to challenge myself to spend an entire day as a broke backpacker in my own city. Welcome back to the channel guys. For today's video, our budget is only $60 and we're gonna find out if it's really possible to experience Halifax for that cheap. But first, we need to find some iced coffee. Since today is all about being on a budget and spending as little money as possible, so I can't really splurge on my coffee this morning, I recently found out that McDonald's is doing like this monthly promotion where for this whole month iced coffee is only a dollar. So I don't really think there's anywhere else where I'd be able to find cheaper iced coffee. I'm just on my way over to the Halifax Harbor right now just so I can find like a chill spot to just sit down and enjoy my coffee and also because going to the harbor doesn't cost any money and I'm trying to like find ways or like do things that are just free. I need to still find a place where we can go and get some food. So we're gonna do a little bit of research on that right now. Cheap place. Ooh, I think I might have found something. So I found this restaurant called Kodoraku, which is a sushi place. And sushi is one of my favorite foods in the world. Try almost any of the rolls at Kodoraku for $5 or less. Less than $5 for a sushi roll sounds amazing, guys. So I think this is where I'm probably gonna be going for brunch later. Luckily, there's a lot you can do out here in downtown Halifax that would not cost you a dime. For example, just coming out to the boardwalk is completely free. There's so many things to check out along the waterfront. There's all these cool little shacks, restaurants, shops, and obviously, if you're on a budget, you're probably not gonna be thinking about shopping, but it's still a cool place to just come out and you know just look at these stores. Some of them are actually like pretty unique, and you will only find these stores in Halifax. Also, there's other activities you can do which are not free but would cost you a little bit of money things like kayaking you can even like rent out a boat or a yacht just out here in the waterfront I actually do see some people kayaking right there in front of me right now right there yeah there's some museums along the waterfront there's also like art galleries um, for museums and art galleries they're not always free but there are certain days of the week when they do free admission so it's always good to like go on their website and see you know when they're doing these free admissions because it could actually like help you save some money um, there's the discovery center which I know for a fact does free admissions on Wednesday and discovery center is like this really cool like science museum <laughs> So guys, unfortunately, the place where I wanted to go get sushi is still closed. They actually don't open up till 4.30 and right now it's only around 2 o'clock and I am still really hungry so I'm definitely gonna need some food. We're probably gonna have to go back to the sushi restaurant later when they open for dinner. But for the time being, I'm gonna go to Pete's grocery store which is actually just around the corner. They actually have a really nice deli in there where they have some cheap but healthy meals. So for the time being, I think we're just gonna have to stick with that but I still can't wait to try this cheap sushi. Thank you. Honestly guys, for $3.15 I can't complain because this is actually really delicious. It's like stuffed with chicken and there's also like lots of cheese in there. So I'm getting all the protein that my body needs. So next up on today's agenda is riding the Halifax Ferry and this is something I would recommend even for someone who's not on a budget just because it's just super super fun and you get these really incredible views of downtown Halifax, Dartmouth. Riding the ferry isn't free but it also isn't expensive. It's something that can fit within any budget because it only costs $2.75.
So this is exactly why you need to get on this ferry next time you guys come to Halifax because it is just beautiful. I don't actually get to do this very often so being a tourist in my own city actually feels kind of nice. So I've made it across the Halifax Harbour. I am in Dartmouth now. Although I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused right now because I'm not exactly sure where I am. I was thinking the ferry was gonna drop me off on the other side of Dartmouth, like the Alderney Landing, which is like the downtown area. But I'm on a completely different side and I've actually never been here before. Although I do see a Tim Hortons and it has been a few hours since I've had my last coffee. So it's about time. Get a medium iced coffee. Yeah, just light sweetener and light cream. Now, because I'm already a resident of Halifax, I'm not really gonna be getting a hotel or an Airbnb because I already have an apartment in the city. But I do understand that if you guys are visiting Halifax, you probably won't already have an apartment like I do and you will have to find accommodations for yourself. So, just to keep things fair and square, what I've done is I already went to hostelworld.com and I found like the cheapest hostel that I could find in downtown Halifax and that is priced at $35 a night. So I'm gonna be taking that $35 and adding it to our expenses for today and since our today's budget is $60, that brings us pretty close to reaching our limit, $15.65. So that's how much money we have left so far in our today's budget. And it's 5.30 p.m. right now, so we still have to get dinner. We still have to go back to Halifax, but I don't think I would have to pay for the ferry again because I still have that transfer and the transfer is actually good for two hours. Also guys, I know I was a little confused earlier because I wasn't quite sure where I was, but I actually just found out that there's two ferries that run from Halifax to Dartmouth. One of them goes to Alderney Landing, which is more of like the downtown Dartmouth side. And the other one actually brings you to Woodside, which is a little bit further away from downtown. And that's the ferry I ended up taking. Now that I've actually like walked around this area a little bit, this is actually quite nice. Just look at the view behind me and you get a pretty similar view from Alderney Landing as well. But what I like about this area is that it's a little bit more peaceful because Alderney Landing is like, as I said, it's like the downtown side. So, you know, there's a lot of people people around there. Finally the moment that I've been waiting for all day. I'm just about to walk into the sushi restaurant Kodoraku and we're gonna try some cheap sushi. So let's go. So I'll do a Kodoraku and a spicy salmon roll. So guys, unfortunately, we went slightly over our budget for today. I just got two rolls and it came to $19.75 and that puts it at around $64. And I just got my food. I mean, even though it looks really good, I just don't really think it's a lot of food for almost $20. Is it the cheapest sushi I've ever had? Absolutely not. Is it the best sushi I've ever had? Mm, still no. But if I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, I would give it a solid nine. There's a couple other restaurants for sushi in Halifax that I would recommend if you are looking for just cheap food. Um, one of them is Wasabi House, which is usually where I go when I'm looking to get cheap sushi. Every day after eight o'clock, they do happy hours. So you can get like three rolls for like $15, which is definitely cheaper than this place. And yeah, for some reason, I was thinking that this place would be cheaper than Wasabi House, which was one of the reasons why I was like so excited to come here. But... Uh... And guys, one thing is for sure that Halifax definitely isn't the cheapest city you'll travel to. If you're gonna come here on a budget, it's definitely gonna require a little bit of planning and a little bit of sacrifices like you saw today. Um, we didn't even do a lot of things and we still ended up going over our budget. So <laughs> yes, just like any other North American city, Halifax is also pretty expensive, but it's still doable within a certain budget, just as long as you're smart and as long as you do your research. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end this right here. Like always, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.